We've got more 50th anniversary guitars from Taylor for you. They are Builder's Edition 314 CEs in two different colors. We're going to tell you all about them, so stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. If you want to support the channel, visit our spring store link below for custom swag. Check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, wherever you get your podcasts. So Builder's Edition guitars, extremely popular in Taylor's lineup. The new 50th anniversary guitars have also been popular. Let's combine the two and make an even more popular guitar, shall we? Yeah. Um, 324 Builders, long been since its initial release, like maybe our most popular, you know, American-made Taylor model. Well, heretofore, it's been the most affordable Builder's Edition guitar yeah. that was available. And everybody digs it, um, and everybody also likes the standard 314. This is a nice combination of the two. I foresee that it will probably be the most popular of the 50th anniversary models. It may very well be. I mean, it's a great combination of features. The typical Builder's Edition features are fantastic. Like you said, the 324 has been popular, but for some people, like myself, I usually would want something with a spruce top on it because of the brightness, because of the you know, linear, you know, response that you get from a volume standpoint. And so, you know, that's what is delivered in this particular case. And we have two to choose from. Now, they are limited to 1974, the year Taylor started, or 1,974, uh, you know, serial numbers within this particular uh, model. One thing that we're not sure on is if that's per color. I think it is per finish. Yeah. Um, uh, but it could just be in total. Um, but my guess is it's per finish. So we've got two versions of this. This is the natural spruce, although the back and sides have a finish uh, a, that we'll talk about, a, a burst to them. And then you've got... I got the Kona Burst, a.k.a. Kona Grill, because it's tasty. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Just Kona free burst. ads. Yeah. This video brought to you by Kona Grill. Kona Grill. <laughs> um, yeah, Kona Burst. Nice little nod to the Hawaiian... Even though this is not a full like, guitar. <laughs> for the urban ash wood that's not in yeah. Hawaii. So um, if you didn't know, the very popular 324, which I think a lot of people think is an all mahogany guitar. Right. It's not. It is not. It's a mahogany top with urban ash back and sides. This is a spruce top with urban ash back and sides. Uh, by far the most popular usage of urban ash that they've had. They've done it on a few other guitars, but the 324 reigns king of the urban ash introductions i believe i really like urban ash just going on record i really like it i liked it in the gts when they were first introduced i spent a lot of time with one because that was like during the pandemic when they shipped one to me and what else are you gonna do you're just gonna play guitar um and so i really like it i liked it in uh the 324 Every single time I've played a guitar with it for the back and sides, I've really enjoyed it. And and this is no exception. I also like, yeah, it's hard to see because of the burst, but there's a really nice kind of mottled flame yeah. uh, that's going on with this wood. Um, so this uh, is, I'm going to say Kona burst on the back and sides as well, but the top is your natural spurs. It looks like a kind of the same shaded edge burst that they do on the 814 right? builders, kind of, yeah. yeah. Um, really good looking. And... The 814 Builders, again, is like another guitar that they released that just blew up, you yeah. know? Um, it seems like, you know, they did Builders Editions on some more niche guitars, like, to begin with, you know? Um, and I love the 912. I love the 652. There's some kind of different body styles and all that. They're 517, 717. This is and the 814 are like, we're taking our greatest hits and we're giving a builder's edition and they're, like I just know, people are gonna freak out over this guitar. Builder's edition appointments, if you're not familiar with them, are really focused on your playing experience with the guitar. It's like, it's an ergonomic dream on an acoustic guitar. So with these guitars, they have what was there in the OG uh, builder's editions, which is <coughs> a silent satin finish, uh, because evidently Andy Power squeaks. Um, not all of us squeak, but Andy squeaks. I've squeaked, Squeaky depending from. upon uh, the pants I'm wearing. Uh, so, you know, you have a really nice thin satin finish, which I'm a fan of, um, and it's going to be very quiet versus a typical satin finish. You have your um, beveled armrest here, which 
kind of once you play a guitar with this, it's really hard to like go back. Um, and then you have the beveled, uh, you know, kind of convex cutaway that they do on these, which is really nice. Soften winged bridge, fire stripe pick guard, which is a very good look to it. And all of the edges are chamfered or softened. Again, it's that experience. One of the things, if you play up high, I, I don't know that this gets enough appreciation. Because there are a lot of people who will buy one of these guitars and you know play in the cowboy chord area, or like I like to call it the cash register versus the higher register. But if you do play above the 12th fret, the comfort of this, you notice so they move on these the, the strap button. And mm -hmm. the reason is so that there, this, there's no obstruction whatsoever with this curvature uh, coming up to the very highest frets. And if you play up there, this is extremely comfortable. Yeah, it's very nice. So, um, rounding out the features, do you remember what the name of the uh, inlay is? I can make one up if you'd like. <laughs> Go. I'd like. I'd love to hear it. Lil buttons. Lil buttons. Okay. <laughs> so now <laughs> you get the opportunity. <laughs> That's such a great name <laughs> to uh, see what it's really called, and uh, we, you know, we should do like a uh, some kind of a vote, a yeah. poll. Do you prefer Taylor's name of this, yeah. which is probably like Element Diamond or Reflective yeah, something Diamond or something? Real, like classy. <laughs> or do you prefer Little Buttons? No, Lil. <laughs> Lil. Lil, Lil buttons. buttons. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no T's. Just Lil. Yeah, just like Wayne. <laughs> like Lil, Lil Wayne with his Lil Buttons. Yeah, Lil Buttons. Um, <laughs> so, speaking of buttons, those are some nice looking antique gold. Goto. Yeah, gold because it's 50th. And Goto 510s because it's a builder's edition. Yeah. And they are the best. So. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the biggest selling point for all the 50th anniversary limited editions is the uh, bridge pins with the gold dot on them. You know, is that it? I thought it was the label. Everybody's, inside that everybody's said 50th. been buying them because of those. But yes, these do have a little gold dot. And you got the nice uh, 50 years on the inside with oh. the label. Little buttons. Um, <laughs> yeah, these guitars, guaranteed hit. Everybody's going to dig them. And so many people, probably some of you, have hit up both Chris and I. Uh, I guess I wouldn't say hit up I. <laughs> hit up Chris and me, English major. Um, <laughs> and said, I really like the 814 50th, and I'm afraid to buy it because they're, you know, they might release something else cooler later in the year. And... I'm also scared that they're going to run out because these are all limited. Um, this is the one that's been the hardest to hold my tongue on and because I know a lot of people are going to go for that 814 because mm -hmm. it's sinker and it's awesome. But this is the one that I think is going to appeal to most people of like, I love my 314. I love the 324 builders. I wish I could combine them. And it's, you know, it's a more affordable guitar than that 814 definitely more affordable than the uh, ps 14s that are coming so uh yeah i think this one is really great and probably the one that i would urge taylor like just make this a model you know i hope they do the, you know <clears throat> if they do maybe they'll you know they'll do their 50th anniversary runs and then this will be standard there's no guarantee of that i think it'd be great because they're fantastic guitars but enough yammering about them we should hear cooper play them so take a listen <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so there you have it. Uh, wonderful sounding and really great playing guitars. It did strike me as soon as I played one of these. They sound really great. Yeah. Really fantastic tone, a wonderful resonance. I kind of, you know, before we shot the video, I was like, are these torrified? Because I was playing the, the burst one, and it sounds, it's, it, there's a resonance to it. And again, I love Urban Ash as a tone wood. I think that's a big part of it. Yeah. But this is a great sounding guitar. So during the break, I did find out what the inlay is actually called. It's not little buttons, unfortunately. That's, that's disappointing. So I'm going to have Chris make an honest guess of, you know, say they present it to him. He's the marketing guy at Taylor. What do you call that? We've done this before at Taylor, actually. They presented really? something, and they remember? And they're like, yeah, what yeah. would you call this? And I'm like, this is what I would call it. And then that's what they called that's it. That's what they called it. And I didn't get paid. <clears throat> so Never what, work for free. What would you call that? <laughs> Look at it. Let me take it in. Let me ignore the fact that it slightly reminds me of Baby Yoda. Um, <laughs> uh, parallel. No, oh, what's a parallel spade? Parallel spade. That's actually pretty good. It's pretty good, right? That would be better. <laughs> That'd I be think. Better. I like that. Okay. And it sounds, uh, it's compass. Okay. It's kind of compassy. It's, yeah. I guess so. I like can see it. Kind of a Jack Sparrow kind of thing. Yeah. Well, it's missing the, you know, the, the rest of the compass. Yeah. So it's kind of like your needle. In I a think compass. it's more of like a subliminal message. Like if you're playing one of these, you're going in the right direction. You know I, what I'm saying? I like that. I like that. That was their thought, I think. Um, but compass. I'm gonna. I like little buttons and little compass works for me too. Well, okay, we've got four options on the table. What is it I said? Parallel spade. Parallel spade. So, so vote in the comments below. What do you like? Parallel spade. Kind of looks like Baby Yoda. <laughs> little buttons, or compass. Taylor's gonna spam us with votes for compass. Um, but yeah. I'm voting for Lil Buttons. Lil Buttons aside, it's a great guitar. I think it's the one that's the biggest no brainer. Like, this should be a standard model. And maybe they'll do it, maybe they will not. They, of course, refuse when I ask them, is this gonna be a real thing? And never you know, may, say never. Maybe it's maybe it would come back in a different iteration with different bridge pins. Or different tone woods. Yeah. Maybe they'd switch it up a bit. But I really like these. As it is, I think this is the one, like I said, that will, will appeal to the most people and be kind of the most popular of the anniversary models. I really like them. And uh, if you love the thought of a 324 builders and you've played one, but you gotta have a spruce top, no brainer. Well, let's talk about pricing on it too, because you made a great point. They're a lot less expensive than the 814. In fact, they're about $2,000 less expensive than the Builder's Edition, you know, yeah. 50th uh, 814. So the natural top is going to run you $29.99 as of the time of this video being filmed, and the Kona Burst will run you $31.99. Yes, check our website for the latest pricing information because it is subject to change. We have no control over that whatsoever. Yeah, but we do have control of how we want to sound, and you you have the compass point you in the right tonal direction. Have the compass point you to your little buttons. Yeah. And that little button might have your mouse positioned over add to cart, um, <laughs> <laughs> or, or the little button might be uh, over uh, the like button or the subscribe button and the bell icon to turn on notifications for our channel. Because we're witty, fun, and you like guitars. Yeah. Good thing is, you go to alamomusic.com, you can find both these guitars, and we have ample stock currently of them, which means we have more than one of more than, yeah, I was going to say, it's not very ample. It's not very ample when you think about it, but luckily, Taylor hooked us up. We have several of each at launch, yeah. which the other ones, you know, we've sold out. We're waiting on more to come in. There's a lot of pre-orders out there. If we happen to run out of these, let us know that you want one, and we can try to track you down one. Uh, but they are, as of right now, limited, and uh, they're going to be very popular. So check them out. Just let your compass lead you to alamomusic.com and click on the little button that says add to cart, and you'll be good That's to go. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bringing it all in. Yeah. So as always, seriously, we hope that you enjoy our videos and that you support the channel by doing all the things that were previously mentioned. And uh, we hope to bring you more guitars to look at. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.